the inside at all times. The most trusted name in news, Fox News, every half hour, only on 96.3 FM, 1370 AM, The Source. W-O-C-A. Ocala's Information Station, 1370 WOCA. Ocala! All right, 25 minutes before 10 o'clock. Anybody who's lived here at least 20 years knows that the... uh, The employment opportunities in our county have changed for the better in the last 20 years, definitely. And so have the educational opportunities. We've we've got more uh, educational opportunities, especially uh, after high school education opportunities. And the problem used to be, and and, uh, I think we talked about this once before with Dale, who's here today from CareerSource, the um, the opportunities to learn were getting better before the opportunities to use that learning and keep it here. But that, that a lot of that has changed now. Um, Laura Burns is not here from Career Source. Citrus Levy Marriott. Instead, Dale French has joined us again. We've met Dale before. Good morning, Dale. How are you doing? Good morning. I'm good. How are you learning? And today, if, am I right? We're going to learn about transportation uh, jobs. I think we're going to learn about transportation. Oh, excellent. Does that mean like truck driving that kind of thing? Yeah. Okay. So let me. Uh, Robin gave me the names. Um, Tanya Morrow, nice to meet you, Tanya. Nice to meet you. Now that we're officially on the air. And uh, Jeff Deli uh, Paoli. Yes, sir. Did I say it right? Yes. All right, nice to meet all of you. And so, what is ABCO? ABCO? Yes, it is. Is that right? What is that? ABCO Transportation. We are a refrigerated asset based carrier originally. Does that mean you carry food? We carry uh, perishable foods. We also carry uh, flowers. Oh, okay. Yeah, flowers would have to be refrigerated. Big market out of Miami. Okay. All right. And uh, so where do you go? Where do you, uh, you're based out of Ocala? We're based out of Ocala. Our corporate office is here. Okay. And um, we move into the southeast markets, North Carolina, Georgia, uh, Tennessee, into the Midwest, Northeast. Wow. Wow. So how many people in the headquarters operation? We're right now we currently have um, about 50, 60 employees based in in uh, our, our corporate structure and uh, our trucks, we have about 175 on the road. I always want to be, I think I should be a driver. I could drive. I think you should. It's kind of like sitting here, really, isn't it? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> you could do a, a remote from the cab of the truck. <laughs> Just be driving out Well, the plus road they have these the new uh, self-driving cars, self-driving trucks, right? Is that? The technology is coming. I, I would love to know what you think about them. I mean, this is your business. What do you think about the whole self-driving possibility? Well, I'm not too familiar with it, so uh, I, I think we still need drivers behind the wheel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll still need somebody. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Um, so so w- where do they pick up the food from? To the Various locations. Really? You know, throughout the U.S. I mean, we've got some customers based in Florida. We've got some core customers based in, in Georgia. Uh, throughout the U.S., there's, there's a plethora of opportunities for us to expand our markets. Really? Does the does the fact that the, the the truck is refrigerated present anything different than a driver who's just hauling logs or something? It is. There's a lot of responsibility because of uh, food and uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, making sure we maintain proper cold chain. Make sure that uh, uh, you know our trailers are clean, dry, odor free. Mm-hmm. So there there is a little bit more responsibility that our drivers have to uh, undertake wow. in order to make sure that uh, we get it to the consumer in good shape. Tanya, are you going to help us understand what kind of jobs you're looking for? Uh, I am the driver recruiter right now. I'm looking to expand our, our fleet. Um, we, we have brand new trucks that we want to put drivers in. We want to give people jobs. Really? How much training do you have to have? I could drive a car. <laughs> <laughs> am I close? Not even. Not even either. close. Are you a driver? A uh, former driver. Are you really? Mm-hmm. Did you enjoy doing that? I did. And how, like, how many hours a day did you were you on the road? You have legally. Oh, there's <laughs> that part of it too. To, you have to abide by um, Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration's what they call your hours of service. But isn't that all logged electronically now? So you really can't it get is. away with cheating anymore. You cannot get away with cheating anymore. Um, and most carriers, actually all carriers, um, will have to go electronic logs in the next two years or so. Really? Jeff, are you a driver too? I am not. You're not? How'd I you get not. into this business? You don't want me driving. 
<laughs> no? <laughs> no, sir. How'd you get here? Uh, I started out in this business probably about 33 years ago um, and just been very passionate about the industry. Uh, kind of stumbled on it by accident when I was a teenager and uh, really? really didn't know what I wanted to do when I grew up, one of those deals. Mm -hmm. So you're managing or you're vice president, you are, right? I am. Of, of the whole the whole thing. And, and so you would oversee the, the people that get... You, you called it recruiting. We don't call it hiring, right? Or is it the it's, same thing? Are they contracted workers? They they are, no, they, they are company drivers. Okay. Um, okay. We do hire what they call contracted workers, owner operators, those that own their own trucks that, you know, we, we basically I see. run right. them under us. Okay. But we are looking for company drivers. And uh, Dale, how did you get involved with ABCO for Career Source? Well, ABCO is going to be working with us for some of their recruitment. Actually, they're coming to um, one of our job fairs next week, I believe on the 26th. Mm -hmm. For We have a, a job fair coming up next Thursday that's geared towards manufacturing, transportation, and logistics. Mm -hmm. And so Jeff and Tanya were invited to that to, to fill some of their needs. For, oh, wow. for hiring. Do you know what's interesting? As a driver on the interstate, I always wonder if the truck drivers hate cars. Because I had a CB, and I, you know, they'd sometimes say, oh, I got a, they, they called me things like, yeah, four wheels. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but but, but I, I often wonder, I, you know what I noticed? Okay, if I'm behind, what was the line? Was it uh, the orange truck? Is it called orange? Yellow, yellow, the yellow truck. Yellow truck, okay. but they're orange. The yellow truck with the orange lettering. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's not really yellow. You know that, that company? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> and, and there was another company called Roadway, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, here's the one. The one that goes uh, the speed limit all the time. There's one that never varies from the speed limit. Well, most of the trucks are governed for mm -hmm. a couple reasons. Is that right? For mm -hmm. speed, uh, fuel consumption, uh, to get better, better utility out of, um, out of the trucks. So give us a, maybe Tan, you can explain, or either, either one of you, um, who are you looking for? What does the, what does the perfect driver look like? I don't mean physically, I mean, what's their, what's their background and, and what kind of credentials do they have? First and foremost, we, we need somebody that has at least a year of over the road experience, um, you know, driving locally you know say florida driving locally um, right. would not qualify you um for an over the road position it's different um you know have you driven in inclement weather have you driven um, mountain driving um so we're first and foremost you know we're, we're looking for an experienced driver that has at least a year of experience um somebody that's safe out there on the road has fantastic customer service because those are the people that are in contact with our customers mm -hmm. that's the face that they see um and Lastly, someone that has a passion for driving. Um, we, we need someone that has that passion, that Just loves, loves to, drive. to drive. That whole lifestyle and exactly. everything. Exactly. Really. And uh, do you ha do your drivers load and unload the trucks too? No, we are a no touch freight company. That's what they call it in the industry. That's no what I want to be. Yeah, I don't want to have to yeah. load anything. I don't want a forklift. Just drive. The big wheel. Put you behind the wheel and go. <laughs> you know, we have a, a, the back door here at the radio station is where some semis pull in sometimes. The amount of space they have. The, I mean, there's maybe six inches between the truck and the, the yellow posts made out of concrete. I'm, it's amazed. Two things. How they fit in there with one try and how they are always perfectly straight. I mean, their wheels are maybe this close to the, to the curb. The back wheels, the front wheels. It's amazing. Yeah. It is amazing. And, and sometimes drivers are underappreciated. And um, it's one thing at ABCO that, uh, you know, we, we pride ourselves in, in making ourselves available at my level, president level, making ourselves available to the drivers, answering their questions, taking care of their needs. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we offer resorts on vacations for our drivers. For all our employees. Really? Oh, wonderful. So uh, ownership is very generous in terms of saying thank you. I think that differentiates us really? from the competition. Uh, sometimes it's not about the revenue that they're earning. It's about how they're appreciated. And, and we're all about that uh, within our organization. Yeah, it's really? not just the drivers. It's every employee. Should we talk wages or is that something we shouldn't talk? Dale, I'll leave that up to you or you guys. How much do they make? I'll leave it up to them. I, that or is it we're very? Very, we're, we're, we're very competitive in the market. Okay. So, uh, you know, that's not, it's, it's, it's not really the issue, I think. But somebody who drives, they know about what they should be asking for? Absolutely. Okay. 
And, w- and what about benefits? Anything you want to mention there re- regarding that? They have we have um, teeth, you know. hair. You know. <laughs> well, yeah. I, think I looked on your, your website, and the one thing that I did find interesting on the benefits was the resort. Um, that is a cool, yeah. It's very cool. Yeah, we need that here, John. It's it's. I'm, I'm told, you know, I, when I have drivers um, on the phone with me and we're discussing wages and and whatnot, I I do tell them about that company perk that we do have, you know, and no, it doesn't put more money in their pocket, but it does speak volumes about who we are as a company and, yeah. and how we treat our employees. We also have, and this is very very near and dear to my heart, a driver career development program. Um. What that program consists of is two years. If you run with us for two years as a driver and you're looking to get a job outside the truck, a non-driving job, maybe you want to get into dispatch or logistics or brokerage, we will help you get the credentials and qualifications. Is that what happened to you? to do that no no okay but you but that, that's the same avenue it's, it's the same avenue i mean who better to run a you know trucking company on the logistics and then than somebody who's driver. done it yeah it makes right. sense absolutely do you know what I, I was also thinking and i'm just off the top of my head thinking that the truck driver must be the the face of your company absolutely not just for the person receiving the product but for the person who's actually hiring you to mm-hmm. use what you do mm-hmm. So, so how do you how do you market to them? Like, how do you get the guy who provides the the food to say, okay, I'm going to go with Abco? Well, there's 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 a couple things, and you're absolutely right. They are the face of our organization, and um, when they present themselves to the customers, they know that um, you know they're not only just a driver; they're they're um, an internal sales department, yeah. if you will. And um, you know, we appreciate that very much and what they do, and we try to maintain the same drivers and the same lanes to the same customers because okay. it's important then they to have a relationship, relationship. Yeah. exactly and it also helps the drivers too for 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 driver retention home time because it's mm-hmm. important we know that's important to them as well are you also looking for people to take care of the refrigeration portion of the truck or do the drivers do that also since you're transporting perishable products in terms of of Mechanics, yes. maintenance. Right. We're, we've got uh, a variety of positions that we're looking for. We're mm-hmm. looking for uh, transportation customer representatives. We're looking for drivers. We are looking for uh, fleet managers, planners, mm-hmm. uh, mechanics. Mechanics are uh, a big commodity. Uh, I imagine, yeah. Sure sure, is. yeah. Uh, AAA doesn't come and get you when you break down? <laughs> no, unfortunately, <laughs> they don't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have to take a little break. If you have any questions, by the way, you are certainly welcome to call in. And my suggestion is, because we videotape these interviews, share this one with somebody you know who is a truck driver. I have a feeling you're going to make their day. Because Robin had a, a truck driver in her family, and not, not anymore, right? Right. But, but, For uh, 10 years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but he, uh, but he probably would have been interested in this as well, I would think. All right, so we'll be right back. Career Source, Citrus Levy Marion, uh, representing Career Source is Dale French, coming in today with two guests, Tanya Morrow and Jeff Deli Paoli. Yes, sir. Deli Paoli? Good job. From New York, Miami. New Jersey. New Jersey. New Jersey. <laughs> it's one of the others. One of the others. <laughs> Tanya, where are you from? Long Island, originally. See, I could hear it. I'm from Long Island. Huh. Where from? Belmore? East Northport. East Northport. Is that close to Belmont? I have no idea where that is. Oh, okay. <laughs> She'll enlighten you. I'm from Merrick. Where is East, East Northport? Oh, Merrick, yeah. Are you from Merrick? No, I know where it is. You know where it is? Merrick Park. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Close to Huntington. Okay, I know where Huntington is. I have friends in Huntington. <laughs> That's why I thought I knew the name, East Northport. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, we'll be right back. <laughs> The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. More clouds and sun and very humid on this Wednesday with a couple of showers and a thunderstorm around, especially during the afternoon and evening hours with a high of 82 to 86, partly cloudy later Wednesday night, low 69 to 73. For Thursday, clouds and sunny breaks with a couple of showers and a thunderstorm, especially during the afternoon hours, a high tomorrow between 86 and 90. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. 
Bob Kennedy with Berkshire Hathaway Home Team Realty will be on the air Friday at 9.30 a.m. to talk about real estate. Bob will be addressing issues concerning the local real estate market, financing, trends, and even spotlight a listing or two. The program is interactive, and that means your calls are an important part of the show. So whether you're buying, selling, renting, or acting as a landlord, be sure to tune in Fridays, 9.30 a.m., right here on WOCA The Source, 96.3 FM and 13.70 a.m. The very best in quality is Captain T's upholstery. Hey, this is Dan. Let me ask you a few questions. Does your boat look better with the cover on? Has your car's interior seen its better days? Stop using a towel to cover up those rips in the golf cart. Isn't it about time you had it restored to better than new with a custom upholstery from Captain T? Captain T's upholstery has been right here in Ocala for nearly 20 years, so they know how to make your ride one of a kind. Whether you want to take that classic ride back to a factory look or put your favorite sports team front and center, Captain T's upholstery is who to call. 352-369-1810. That's 352-369-1810. Or stop by their location, 5030 South Pine Avenue in Ocala, just past the drive-in. And of course, don't forget to visit them on the web, CaptainTUpholstery.com. The very best in quality is Captain T's upholstery. Wow, man, you have a computer? Yes, and I'm looking at villages1.com. They have a ton of information for the village's residents. Wow, they have information by the ton? I only need a couple ounces, man. Movie schedule, doctors, logo attractions, even a section called Who You Gonna Call for Plumbers and Painters and stuff like that. These guys own cyberspace. Wow, man, they own it? What cyberspace? That's where they packaged 50,000 pages of information for the village residents. Wow, they package it? Where? Villages1.com. Where, man? Villages1.com. On Saturday, May 21st, from 6.30 till 9 p.m., the Appleton Museum of Art invites you to a second Family Night at the Museum event where the artwork comes to life. Go on a flashlight scavenger hunt to meet artists throughout the centuries. Enjoy snacks in the cafe, multicultural art activities in the art space, and lots of other surprises. Tickets are $10 for Appleton members and $15 for non-members. For more information, visit appletonmuseum.org. Sometimes the uh, the off air conversations I'm, I'm really good. All right, we are learning about some job opportunities here. If you're a truck driver, pay attention. Abco A B C O Abco Transportation is being represented in the studio today. Uh, Dale French has invited them to be here. Dale is, of course, from Career Source Citrus Levy Marion, and that's where you would go. By the way, is to Career Source to the website yes. if you're interested in any of these jobs. That does a great. That's a great thing for you guys at Abco. That way, the, you you get the cream of the crop. They the career source narrows it down for you, don't, don't they? Like if I go to to Dale, you're never going to see me because he's going to say, "Larry, you don't qualify." <laughs> you know, we have a CDL, and that kind of, yeah, that kind of knocks you out of the <laughs> Yeah, so you don't have to be bothered by people like me who says I want to be a truck driver. Right. I sound silly, but I mean, but it's just kind of a serious thing, isn't it? You don't got to put up. Are you, are you, who does who do we see after we pass Dale's test? Do we come see you? It's me. Oh, right to you. Okay. Off the air, you brought something interesting up um, about being bilingual. Is that a necessity? It's it's. It's something that sounds important, but is it a necessity? It's not a necessity. No, it's not. Okay. So how would a, 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 a what do you call somebody who speaks one language, Robin? A unilingual? Bilingual. Yeah, but somebody who only speaks one, only speaks uh, like me, I'm, am I unilingual? Well, except for Pig Latin. But <laughs> I would think so. It, <laughs> but if I go to Miami, if I go to Miami and the customer speaks Spanish, what do you have, like an app for that or something? Yeah, it's called the phone, and it's bring Tanya into the <laughs> office. Oh, because, because you speak both. <laughs> Translation. And you would yeah. be perfect on the radio down there. I was telling off, off the air that that's what the radio stations want, bilinguals who can speak both languages without a noticeable mm -hmm. dialect. If you put your headsets on, we have somebody calling in right now. I think they're going to speak in English. We're going to uh, make sure you can hear me through your headset. Can you hear everybody hear me? I can't. Yeah. You can't. Okay, Robin, if you'll show her how to turn that up. Before I put you on the air, let me make sure that uh, Tanya can hear you. Can you hear me now? Absolutely. Okay, good. All right. Good morning. Thank you for calling. You're on the air. Yes, good morning. Good morning. Uh, um, I loaned uh, Larry a video last week called Trucks with Two Sticks. Yes. Get, get him to show it to you uh, <laughs> when you uh, <laughs> when your show is over. <laughs> All right, Trucks with Two Sticks. Okay. Do you have any Trucks with Two Sticks? 
We do not. Do not. All right. What's good, a, good morning. You're on the air. We have another caller. Uh, good morning. <clears throat> I have a, a question. Uh, I have a CDL, and I noticed that well, my experiences, uh, I w- came across a lot of areas like where they said bridge clearance 14 feet, and it was like 13.9. <laughs> and needless to say, the truck was uh, about 13.8. <laughs> so, you know, it, it just doesn't work. One other time was on the Illinois Expressway. They used to keep repaving that and just paved over it. I think they, uh, again, had a bridge there or overpass that said 14 foot, and sure enough, tractor trailer went through and took the top of the trailer off. And then they discovered that the repaving kept uh, raising the road up, and they didn't raise the clearance up. Oh, wow. Or, so, yeah, that's you know, a common that problem in New York. Thing. Oh, that's a, that's a New York problem? Thank, yeah, that's interesting. Time I, I drove. Our company that I work for went on strike, and I drove for Cisco in Long Island. East Meadow was the place I reported to. And, uh, again, you, you run into traffic situations, and I ran into the same thing on going underneath the Myrtle Avenue well. The, uh, the truck height. He's talking your language, it sounds like. You know, yeah, yeah. So I got Indeed. stuck there, and I had to uh, actually wait for uh, the police to come around so I could back out and try to <laughs> go an alternate route. Truck stories. How does that work with your drivers if uh, driving conditions aren't what they are advertised to be or something crazy comes up, including some of the crazy accidents on I-75 where they shut everything down? Hmm. I hang up and listen. Thank you. Okay, that's a... Sure. Well, typically we leave the um, uh, safety aspect to the driver, and they're totally, um, it's at their discretion. Uh, We give them the tools to be successful, and we support their decisions. And I'm guessing those tools, because I have a little app on my phone that says there's traffic up ahead, you might want to take the exit. So I'm guessing they have something better than I have. Yeah, we've got... um, <clears throat> devices that certainly give the truck routes and that's more important than you know there's a difference between gps of cars and trucks so um with with less than four minutes left how what do they need to bring with them somebody who's a perfect candidate um obviously a, a license to prove they've got that right absolutely um but when they when they get hired do they bring anything with them at all do they bring any hardware or any the electronic equipment they they do because our trucks they're they're not equipped with um navigation so if you are a professional driver that uses electronic navigation of course you would want to bring that with you um so yeah that's that's very important your okay. hands-free device for the phone okay but i guess you do it your your way if you're the driver you could use a Rand mcnally if you wanted to right absolutely a map yeah. Absolutely. Okay. This is an exciting thing. When I was younger, I, I might have said, "I'll knock on. I'll go. I would have gone to Dale. He would say, "Go to school first. <laughs> <laughs> go to school. Yeah. Go to school first. <laughs> then go see the country." Uh, very interesting subject. Um, so let's find out how to. Um, what's the What's the best thing to do, Dale? Just call you. Uh, they can come into our our center, or they can contact Tanya directly. Oh, we can call you directly. You can call me directly. Okay, and and how do we do that? Um, basically, you can call the one eight hundred number, or you can go directly to the company website. It's www.driveabco.com. Drive A B C O. A B C O. A B C O. dot com. And what is the eight hundred number? One eight hundred six six four. Four four one zero. Four four one zero. Okay. Option three. Option three. <laughs> okay, I have to remember that. All right. One eight hundred six six four 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 one zero. Option three. The website is driveabco. A B C O dot com. Correct. Okay. Um, I'd like to also point out that we just took delivery on fifty brand new Peterbilts, and for the drivers that are out there, um, all these Peterbilts are equipped with uh, Bose seats, which is you know, high-end seating for them, and that makes a difference. Uh, we've also uh, put some automatics into the fleet as well, and the technology is wonderful. Automatics? Yes, sir. I could drive it. You might be able to. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to take you did for you, a test. Did you ever see the Jerry Seinfeld piece uh, in Comedians and Cars driving? What was the Comedians and Cars getting coffee? And he's at a coffee stop, and he asked the driver, "Can I drive the truck?" <laughs> did you ever see that yes. one? No. And he does. What does he drive it? Like twenty feet or something? Something like that. Yeah, a little tiny bit. Tiny, tiny bit. Yeah. <laughs>
Uh, thank you. Thank you for coming in here. And for the listeners, if you need any of that repeated, we'll be glad to repeat it for you. Let me repeat it right now just so that I make sure I have it written down correctly. It is ABCO Transportation, A-B-C-O. Um, the 1-800 number is 1-800-664-4410, option 3. And the website is driveabco.com. Yes, and, oh, and don't forget... Career source, Citrus Levy Marion. Career source, yes. And real quick, while I got just a minute, a couple plugs. We do have, uh, we're running our higher grad job fair today over at the uh, college campus, okay. Weber Center. Uh -huh. It's on the back of the campus. Uh, that's going on uh, from 10 to 2, so starting in just a couple minutes. And we have three job fairs next week on the Tuesday, the 24th, the 25th, and the 26th. Uh, Tuesday will be in Lakanto at the College of Central Florida. Uh, Wednesday will be at Haven Hospice in Chiefland, and on Thursday we'll be at the Klein Center here at the college, and Jeff and Tanya will be part of that oh, with Absco Transportation. Okay, excellent. So um, three job fairs next week, and you can go to our calendar of events on our website and see that at careersourceclm.com, and it'll give you all the details and the uh, list of the employers that are going to be there. Very good. You always do a great job. Thank you all for coming in today. Thanks for having we us. We will take a little break. Um, news is up next. Actually, it's already in progress. This is WOCA Ocala. Saying the new rules will force some companies to convert salaried workers into hourly ones, effectively demoting them. Americans are more upbeat about their own finances than about the economy, according to a new AP Nork Center for Public Affairs poll. Just 42% of adults believe the U.S. economy is good. Two-thirds say their own households are doing well. And in the race for the White House, Bernie Sanders winning the primary in Oregon, Hillary Clinton narrowly winning Kentucky. Fox.